Stream number three. Attempt number 19. We can finish this challenge tonight. Will we? I don't know. But we're going to do our best. So let's have at it. Southwest. Uh, not the best. Someone's probably going to get that by turn 15, and it probably won't be me. Mushroom's relatively harmless. Harmless. Uh, we always want seven, six, seven, eight, or ten. Ten happening. And with this, I can actually get myself down to zero coins at the start of my next turn, allowing me to land on Bowser spaces. I think there are at least three. I think it's 30% to land on Bowser, assuming that I manipulate the spinner correctly. Because there's one northwest, and then there's also the one to the east in front of the gate, which you can hit on two different rolls, uh, before and after bouncing. So, 30% chance for Bowser bonus, uh, assuming that it's not a coin minigame. Take that. Warp blocks. Honestly, not great. Those, those can bother me very likely will. <sighs> Four green spaces, and this is what it does. I guess maybe this was statistically the most likely outcome or something. But. Oh, cool. It's an unsafe minigame. Well, feeling great about this. I, I love that the first, the first minigame of the stream is this. All right, this is looking good. This is looking good. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, we're good. All right, cool. Finish. Cool, all right. You know, nice nice to not die to Boulder Ball. I do feel like I, I die at Boulder Ball much more often than I survive. When I'm on the team, of course. When I'm the solo player, I survive every time, but. <sighs> Not losing turn one is a good sign. Yeah, you know, in, in the context of this challenge, it's pretty good. Hello, Llama King. Great to see you. That's another happening. Or no, it's another item. Excuse me. I forgot. It's 13. There's 13 spaces here. So I just wanted to confirm. So three and six... And five. Oh, that's not all. There's actually some more Bowser bonuses to be had. Uh, three, three. Oh, wait, hold on. If I'm counting correctly, West has Bowser on a 10. So on this particular happening space, it's actually 40% guaranteed for Bowser. Wait, and then how many is this? One, two, three, four, five... Plus another 5% if I roll an 8 and make it past the trap. So 45% Bowser starting out on this happening space right in front of the spinner. Plus Funny Island turns the 45% into a 50 and then also adds, what, 9 and 7? So now it's overall 60% to hit Bowser. I'm more likely than not to have the option to land on a Bowser space this turn. And... Even if I roll low, I'm going to be able to land on an item space or something good, so. But, I do need to spend my five points. 
glad I did not forget that. Especially while I'm still getting warmed up, I'm okay with just refamiliarizing myself with the map and thinking about strategy, since strategy is key. Um, seven. One, two, six. So it's bank or item. I can get happening to move the bridge. I can get the funny island Bowser. I can get the item headed towards the star. And... I can get the battle minigame if I survive the trap, or the blue space if I go the other way. This is this is tricky. Hello, Levant. Great to see you. On the one hand, the happening space is good. On the other if, hand, if I land on it, I can no longer reverse onto Funny Island. So, kind of limits my options and sends me back to start. Item spaces are both good. Um, I won't have to pay five coins to the bank because I'm literally bankrupt. And then I forget what happens. Oh yeah, if I stay on the bomb island, I just get a blue space. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go somewhere else. Um, hmm. It's really tempting to just take the Bowser bonus. I mean, it's going to be, I think, 30 or 40 coins since I'm in last. The thing that I forget is, can you reverse over the bridge to exit Funny Island? Or am I going to be trapped on Funny Island with a lot of Funny Island ahead of me? That's what I'm not as sure of. I guess I can reverse and then I'm 60% at least to, to get to the home pipe if, if I roll five or higher. So I can leave Funny Island if it's if it turns game guy, game guy with 60% success, which is overall fine. I'm going to try and take the money. But thankfully, if I get left or right uh, from the spinner being too fast, there's also good options there. Okay. Turn to Bowser bonus. We love to see it. We love to receive it. Coin star, baby. Angel investor slash devil investor Bowser. Ah, the one computer who I really would have preferred not get those. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Wario has money. That means he's going to get a negative Bowser. And he got item anyway. Oh, but his inventory is full of warp blocks, so nothing happens. I guess now is a situation in which if Wario warped with me, it would probably be fine. I guess if it turns to chance time... Well, I mean, I'm going to get to take my turn before Wario anyway, but Wario warping with me while I'm on Funny Island doesn't strike me as terrible. And in fact, Wario's headed for the star, which I can now afford. So if he did that uh, and I hadn't reached the star yet and I haven't left Funny Island yet, then that would be cool. That would be great even. I think what I do next turn is really going to depend on what Funny Island becomes. If it's Battle or Game Guy, I'm probably going to hit the bricks. I just cannot imagine staying there. Being beneficial to my plan. Losing all of my money or giving away most of it to one of the computers. Yoshi. Okay. He can get Bowser if he wants it. He gets blue. I was bracing for the hidden block. Ah, uh, red? 
Fred's not terrible. I think I still kind of want to head for the exit, though. And I also really want to know if I can reverse over the bridge, because if I can reverse over the bridge and I don't roll a 5 to escape, I can get happening, item, chance time, or a blue space. Depending on what I feel like. Or Bowser, potentially, also. Yeah, let's just do a little bit of science. I'm sure I could look this up, but I want to see if I can reverse over the bridge, and I think this is the best use of my reverse stream anyway. kind of want to leave the island now. Head for the star. Okay, I can go over the island. This is extremely significant. So with this, I can actually land on the happening space here to lower the bridge. It's the first of the two happening spaces. So I would still need to get an eight, eight more spaces of movement in order to reach the star, but I'll be tied for happening star. I will have all 30 of my coins. The bridge will be down in case I feel like pivoting. Uh, that's nice. What else? Oh yeah, I can't go that way. So yeah, I can get a red space if I stay on the island. That's obviously not happening. Um, going back to start puts me on the blue space right before stepping onto Bomb Island. So unfortunately, it's not very useful. Four, two, three, four. I can land on Bowser again. The Bowser before Boo, if I make it past the trap. And if I don't make it past the trap, I'll just get a blue space. Uh, one, two, four, game guy. Blue space after bank. East is not very promising. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to head for the star. I'm going to head for the star. This is cool. I'm really glad that this worked out. I'm really glad that you can reverse over the bridge. It's a very cool strategy. I feel cool, at least. That worked out great. I'm also just glad that I got a nice big large roll to move a lot of spaces. Mario Party makes you feel very good about moving a lot of spaces. Waluigi land on a space other than a happening space challenge. Difficulty level... Easy. Okay. If this was me, I wouldn't mind. Uh, Yoshi can afford the star, though, and is taking his turn before me, so actually I do mind a little bit. And now he can extra afford the star, because I'm giving him 10 coins. If I survive, which I might not. Be careful, be careful. They're playing well. They're being smart, especially for easy CPUs. I'm happy with them. Keep it together, guys. I think we're good. <laughs> wow, a perfect attendance record. 0% casualty rate. We love to see it. Man, surviving boulder ball, surviving crazy cogs. This is already an action-packed attempt. Oh, I like that. Let's take 20... He's, he's got the lead. I think he can lose at least 20 coins. Yeah, all right. Well, a minigame puts him back up to being able to afford the star, but I'm lucky that he rolled low. I need an 8, and I really do not want a 7. Blue space. More battle after paying five to the bank. Well, ooh, I'm tied for coin star. Interesting. All right, now Wario, do not work with me, please. You know, that was pretty mean. That was pretty mean. He couldn't warp with me the first time. If we warped with me the first time, it would have been fine, because then warping me again would just keep me on the path towards the star. But no, of course not. 
Um, cool. I'm on track for that. Uh, what do I need? Three. I need eight. I need an eight again. Uh, although Waluigi can afford it, but I'm going to be going first and he has farther to go. He needs at least 12, I think. I think he needs 13. Title toss? Are you kidding me, dude? Please, please, guys. Please. Well, Yoshi, big hops. Big hops. Yoshi, you're not even trying. Yes! Okay. Ah. My nerves can't take it. That's like three unsafe one versus three mini games, and the beat goes on. Th that's the four mini games that I've had. Three unsafe three v ones, and beat goes on. Ooh! Oh no! No! Don't! <sighs> Stupid fucking key. Zero. It's still turn five. Okay, all right. Well, so I can still afford the star, no matter what. I just don't want to die to Mary go John. I was about to be very cross with the game for giving Mary go John. Slapdown is at least a safe loss. I will carefully... Will I carefully play for a second? I guess I'll try-ish. But I'm not going to try very hard. I'm going to err on the side of just letting the game lose. Okay. Um, what? That was it? Uh, so, chat, um, let me just explain what happened. Um, two of the computers eliminated themselves, right? Um, which meant I needed to eliminate myself before Waluigi could. Uh, but it just so happened that the next flower, after Wario knocked himself out, was the actual flower. I assumed that it wasn't going to be the flower next. The blue one. The winning one. Um, so I did a hard read, and guessed correctly, and won the minigame straight up. I wanted to slap down on an incorrect flower and get second. But, because I didn't check to make sure that the flower was incorrect before I slapped down, I won the minigame. That is... <laughs> that is a really unfortunate way to go on an attempt that had a lot of promise. I was, I was on my way to that board star. Maybe I wouldn't have gotten it. Maybe Yoshi would have gotten it first or whatever, but... Why was I that confident that it was not going to be the blue flower? I, it was early on, like, I wasn't thinking, I, it didn't occur to me to check what the flower was. I just assumed, hey, it's still cycling a whole lot. It's probably not going to be the flower next. I need to die as quickly as possible because Waluigi might lose. And then I win by default. That has to be avoided. But, like... In other words, I panicked. I panicked and tried to eliminate myself and won because it just so happened that the blue flower came up on the next draw. So I just wasn't thinking about the game correctly. If I had been able to like take more time to think about it, I would have think like, I'm just going to make sure that it's not the correct flower and slap down if it's incorrect. But if it is the correct flower, or the correct flower, I won't do anything. And then I will get second place. That's what I should have done. And it is not what I did. So, back to the start. And Yoshi's gone. Yoshi's a, Yoshi has abandoned us. He needs a break. I understand. <sighs> if it's a happening space party, I would love to get in on it. Alright, so I will. I think I still have like a 
30 or 40 percent chance to land on Bowser next turn. 30 or 40. Assuming that I uh, do the action time correctly. So it could be another turn two Bowser bonus, which I think is a pretty ideal start. MPIQ. We will intelligently play for the draw here. Which means only answering correctly after a computer does. Waluigi's Big Blast. That's funny. It's just like Bowser's Big Blast from uh, Mario Parties 1 and 2, I think. Okay. Wario got one correct, so now it's my turn. Well, it is one of the people playing this match. It's three. Four. I really hate it when it asks you a question where the answers are B, A, and Z, and it doesn't put A button on A, B button on B, and Z button on Z. Like in that question that it asked before this one, A was on B and B was on A. Z was on Z, but it was still mixed up. It still made me angry. Um, there's still time. I, I know I can answer that one incorrectly, but I'm just going to wait anyway out of an abundance of caution. I think that was turn seven, and this is turn eight. Yeah. Miracle Star, wow. All right, I'm going to answer this correct. It was, it's 10? Then Peach wins. Finish. God damn it. I wasted all of that time. I need to track the turns uh, more deliberately, I guess. Which is a huge pain in the ass, but... I don't have anything else better to do. Can't win the minigame. Still getting warmed up. It's okay. It's not a death knell for the attempt. I can just assume that Peach won, the beat goes on, and shrug it off. I will act as if that was the beat goes on. Alright, funny moments. Now I can't even use my phone. Forget. Does this give me access to Bowser? One, two, three, four, five, six. Bank. Oh, I can't get item because that's where the star is. So I guess that's now blue space, which is not ideal. Item. I can get an item on Funny Island. I can close the bridge. I can get battle. Okay, so it, it's only if I start on the last happening space immediately before the spinner and get a 10 that that Bowser is accessible. Otherwise, it's accessible on 3, 5, and 6. There's no Bowsers that I can reach, though. Double-checking my math. Which means the only really prudent options are item space west and happening space north.
I'll take Happening Space North, I guess. I wonder what happens if you activate Chance Time when everybody has zero coins and stars. Because right now, it's impossible for Chance Time to do anything. Aw, I thought Waluigi was going to investigate that for us. I don't actually know if the Chance Time was nine spaces away, though. I feel like it. I think it was. Chance, or Cheap Cheap Chase. Alright. We know how to play this one for the draw, so... Everybody stays penniless. It's interesting. Okay, he can't get Bowser even if he goes northwest, I'm pretty sure. That's happening. Man! She can get Bowser if she wants by going east. Okay, she still needs to choose the southern path, but... Well... I am envious. Me next. This is happening. Okay. Wow, so I'm three for three on happening spaces, just like Wario. Picking Panic. An entirely reasonable game to play for the draw, and I'm in the better position to do that. Slightly. Okay. If Peach had sunk that three-pointer, it would have been a little disappointing, but... Oh, I forgot that East is also where the star is, so Peach is now almost at the star. Oh, wait, the bank would have made it, her unable to afford it, so actually... She, it would have been better if she rolled seven or higher. Now we have to play a battle minigame. Peach is the only person who can afford the entry fee, assuming it's ten. Which it isn't because there's no battle minigame, never mind. So, try to keep Peach from winning the end of turn minigame, if at all possible. Two is unfortunately not what I want. But I will try to go east for the item. Yeah. Bowser phone? One sec, and then I will respond to that thought. 14 Cam Cam, nice to see you. Okay. I wasn't very confident about whether or not that would actually get me second barrel, but I was aiming for Golden Mushroom. Honestly, all of those items were underwhelming. I probably would have taken the phone, except that I already had a phone, and I don't have any money, so. 
And yeah, Title Toss not being instant death is very nice. I feel like on easy, none of the minigames are like 100% guaranteed deaths, and there's just no hope, and I should just give up. Crazy Cogs is a clusterfuck, but I mean, I survived a Crazy Cogs this stream. It can happen. Super hard was very punishing. I don't miss it. I think this challenge is a, an ideal balance of difficult and reasonable with easy AI. I'm sort of curious what doing it on normal and hard would be like, but not that curious. I'll leave that to someone else. At least with this, assuming that I make it through Waluigi's Island eventually, which I will, I'll demonstrate that it's possible on easy. So. That's Peach. Damn it! This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. She's now guaranteed for the star. But it's not like I could make her lose. Except by winning. Ugh! Peach. Just scraping up enough to get it. That's not a good spot. That's way too accessible. I'm pretty unhappy with that. There's nothing I can do about it, but... One or four are good. All right. Given that I didn't get that, my options are blue space and blue space. I will choose the blue space that gets me towards interesting things faster. Bowser bonus is now off the table. Rip. Nice short turn. Water world. Well, I can I can sabotage. I, I'll sabotage Peach. I mean, Waluigi is a little bit closer to being able to afford the star, but he's also not competitive currently for any of the bonus stars. Whereas Peach has two of them and is in reasonable striking distance of a third of the of, of the third. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, guys. Alright, well, Wario, I'm counting on you. I hate that I'm counting on you, but I am. Alright, we can go. But Wario is a big lead now, so... Keep trying to tackle Peach, it does nothing. Okay. Does this minigame have no end? Because it looked like you had all three of them stuck there. As far as I know, that minigame does not end early, but I haven't truly tested it. Um, I have kept people there for a long time. I guess next time I get Waterworld, I'll investigate that and just see if a draw is possible. Because if you can get a draw, uh, that's a very, very funny minigame to get a draw on. Lost Happening Space, or Happening Star, don't like it. Wario has landed on four Happening Spaces in five turns. Not often. Speaking of Happening Spaces... I'll go ahead and use my Golden Shroom. Because I'm on a stretch of the board with basically nothing on it. And it looks like I still might be. Yep. Actually, I think this is a happening space. Uh, I just exploded everyone. Cool. Hey, everyone.
everyone. Oops. Did I do that? No one's getting this star. Damn it. No one. If it draws possible, it probably takes at least three minutes. I agree with that assessment. Okay. Snowball Summit is a straightforward draw. It is not free, but it is simple. Okay. I just need to not die to Wario and not kill Wario. I like that they like to, like, make snowballs and then toss them off the side of the mountain. That's just, like, a fun activity to do to keep their hands busy. I I did not like what Wario... I, that animation was not a good animation. With Wario with his back to the camera. Just rolling up a snowball. R that rolling up a snowball. That's what the kids are calling it these days. Is it turn? It's turn seven. Oops. Turn counters off. In before double sevens and Peach gets the star. Okay. So I can get Happening Space and be in front of the star if I want. Blue, Happening Space to raise the bridge. Not ideal. Blue, blue right before traps. Bowser. Wait, Bowser? Bowser? Did somebody just say Bowser? Bowser? Let's go! Oh! Pause to make sure that I actually chose the correct direction, because I don't want to get Bowser and then not have anything happen. Let's go! Fat Coinstar. Coinstar just doubled. In terms of computers getting happening spaces, that was the least bad. Oh, why me? <laughs> the only unsafe solo minigame. The only unsafe one versus three. <sighs> Last time they lived. Last time all three of them lived. Now it's all up to Wario. I don't want to, like, rotate the board, because I'm just, I'm worried. Never mind. Well... I was more worried that I was going to make someone die than make someone live, but I guess I needed to interfere, and I just didn't, so. <sighs> Man, it's so strange. The In the first attempt, the crazy cogs, all three of the computer lived the full 30 seconds, and in this one, they all died in the first 15. No, it really did have promise. 40 coin... 40, con 40 coin Bowser bonus on turn 7. Like, Peach did have a board star, but everyone was pretty broke. I think that run absolutely had promise. Yoshi's back, though, so I'm happy to see him. There are going to be some annoying ones. Okay, I get to move last. Good. 
reminder for those of you who haven't heard me talk about this, uh, my strategy revolves around being deliberate about the color of space that I land on, blue, red, or green, so as to best avoid 1 versus 3 end of turn mini games. Because 1 versus 3 end of turn mini games are the most likely reason why a run would die, statistically. Um, especially being on the team of three, but obviously, as the last attempt shows, being uh, the solo player can also kill you. It just kind of depends. And the 2v2 and uh, four-player minigames really do not kill you most of the time. It's very rare for 2v2 and four-player minigames to be a problem. They're pretty safe. Almost every single one. Or pretty much pretty much all of them. Uh, unlikely... I would, if it was a choice, I'm choosing 4-player or 2v2 anytime, which is why I need to be careful, because it might be a choice. 6, six 7, 8, 10? 6. Nothing happening. And the reverse. Ooh. One sec. Wearing a Bowser suit? Wearing a Bowser suit. This might be a situation in which a Bowser suit is a is a is a fair enough choice. For one thing, it bankrupts me for Bowser bonus options. Uh, although I guess if I use the Bowser suit, I'm probably going to get coins. But even if I don't get coins, I might be able to pivot to a Bowser space. The other option, of course, being Reverse Shroom, but that doesn't bankrupt me just then, just yet. Stars on Funny Island. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm I'm going to buy a Bowser suit on purpose, intending to use it next turn. Let's see what happens. We're gonna get a little wild with it, you know? The opportunity has presented itself. And I'm on the team of three in a one versus three minigame that is not safe. Oh boy. Get down, Mr. President! Please. Oh my god. I'm glad Waluigi dodged. He very easily might not have. God! I really could have stood under Peach. I really could have stood, stood under Peach and prevented that one from happening. That one was not destined for failure. I mean, I was between the computers, which I really do not like. I really like being on one side of both of them. But that was, honestly, chat, I'm going to own up to that. That was my bad. I, I, I definitely could have handled that better. Frustrating. But turn one. So. I guess the, the Bowser suit science is just going to have to wait for another attempt. Maybe it'll even be this attempt, but. It's only a 4 in 10 chance to land on a green space first turn. And then within that 40%, only a 1 third chance that you're going to get the Bowser Jr. or the Baby Bowser shop. So we're talking a 13 or so percent chance. 13 rounded down. Of being able to buy a Bowser suit turn 1 and have 0 coins at the end of that turn. You still might be able to buy the Bowser suit. You're 90% to reach the shop, at least. But Far Funny Island Spawn. That's one of the better ones. I would say that's probably the second best one. Or third best. The other Funny Island position is harder to get to from the southern entrance. But that one it takes longer to get to from the northern entrance. So. Funny Island, though, is just a good spot. I like seeing that. Looks good to me. This is not a good... This is not a good... Uh... Maybe I'll lose the coins for some reason. I don't know. Battle minigame or something. He gets the baby Bowser. Oh man. I wanted to wear the Bowser suit.
Can I, can I have a break? Can I have a fucking break? Can we, can we stop with this, please? Okay, I handled that one better than the previous one. That was, uh, I didn't die as quickly. In fact, I died at the very last second. So that was, that was an improvement. I'm getting some really great coconut conch practice. <sighs> I've noticed that in all of the streams where I have a successful attempt of the board, I never get that successful attempt in, like, the first hour and a half. It always takes me uh, some, some time to, you know, to get warmed up, to get in the groove. So, I'm just getting through the bad attempts in order to get to the good one faster. That's the strat. I'm using up all of my bad luck so that there's none left, because as we all know, bad luck is a finite resource. Okay. Not my preferred spawn, but it's better than east. Every time they land on a blue space, I'm bracing for the hidden block. I'm just, I'm ready for it. It is finite. I'm certain of this. I'm certain of this. How else could I have escaped chilly waters? It, other than by using up all of my bad luck and only having good luck left. Waluigi bought nothing, sus. I would agree. He could have bought the poison shrew. Although, um, Gogo, the Mario Party 3 tasser, was here and said that the way that computers buying items works... I'm gonna do the Bowser suit because they're so close. I mean, they might not be close, but... Try something funny, try something different. The way that computers buying items works is uh, they, ch they pick an item, and then if it's in the shop, they buy it, and if it's not in the shop, they don't buy it. And like that's just like the shape of the way that their AI works. Peach, get dunked on. Oops. Well, I guess killing two of them is fine. I shouldn't have done that. But maybe I won't be punished. Now I'm just going to stand completely still because I'm nervous. I'm not gonna do coin star yet. No one, no one has meaningful coins yet. Need a nine to reach him and to follow him, so that's not good. But it could still happen. South would be nice. I think she did. Yeah, she went south. Okay. Happening space I'm not a fan of, but stealing Peach's money I am a fan of. 
Is that reachable? It's reachable. Okay. So... Eh, I get 60... 60%... No, 70% odds of something. Not make this shit up. Stop. Oh, I was gonna lose my fucking shit. Yoshi, you're supposed to be my friend. Ah! Get down, Mrs. President! The president is a woman in this universe. Also, Peach is the leader of the state that we are in. Okay, all right. Self-preservation self instinct wins out, so cool. Did not lose to Coconut Conk a third time. Yeah, it doesn't kill us on the one where I buy and completely waste a Bowser suit that had a 70% chance to actually return something. The computer with 20 coins gets a magic lamp for free. Yoshi wins the minigame and collects the board star next turn. Happening. Blue. Lower the bridge happening. Funny game guy, which kills me. Red space. Blue space. There's a small chance that Waluigi will land on a happening space and take out Peach's money before uh, she can use that lamp. And happening spaces are good, and this is my only way to try and prevent that lamp from being used, because otherwise it's going to get used. Come on, Waluigi. It's your island. Blow it up. Think of the insurance money. Go left. Go south. Please, go south. He went south. Yes! Okay, good. All right. I don't like the, that he got a happening space, but in all other respects, an excellent outcome. And because of that draw, Yoshi can't afford the star. Decent chance that he passes by it this turn. Unable to buy it. Here's hoping. She needs banker item. She gets item. She really does not need another item. But at least she can't use the lamp right now. Okay. Poison mushroom is not too threatening. Eighty percent to pass the star. 
That's what he gets. Okay. Okay. The ten coins uh, makes it less likely that Yoshi will get the star. He needs a really good cosmic coaster, awful tower, or coin mini game. Yeah. This has happened. Ice rink risk. Okay. Someone's getting paid. But even if it's Yoshi, he's 90% to pass the star. Assuming that he doesn't get coins in someone else's turn. And he didn't even get paid anyway. Well, all the better. Don't want her to win another mini game though, because she still has that lamp. That's really bad. Now he went from a 90% to pass the star to a 66. Red spaces on for the computers are very bad. Okay, he passes it. He also gets an item. Okay. Not a very threatening item. All right. Decent array of outcomes. So the star is over here. The bridge is north. All right, it's an obvious choice. I'm going north. Bobbing balloons. Okay. This one's not the easiest, but let's see what's available. Ooh, Boo Bell. I remember the technique. I messed up the technique. I was supposed to fire it a lot earlier than that. Oops. Damn it. That's embarrassing. I should honestly do some bobbing balloons practice. And probably some swinging with sharks practice too. Those are the item mini games where I'm just not confident in my ability to attain the desired outcome. Honestly, also some probably some of the baseball practice too. Hey, batter, batter. And guess who gets to use her lamp? I'll give you a hint. It's the person with coin and minigame star. Oh, wait. Never mind. Red space. Save for one more turn. Okay. I forgot about the red space. Yeah. Disappointing to not get an item. And there's a small chance that I'll be able to get a Bowser next turn. I think it's 15%. Not including Funny Island. Spend your money, queen. Spend? Buy? Purchase? Yes. Well, that's not very much. Raise the bridge. Blue space. I mean, I don't want to raise the bridge, but... Small chance of chance time, an item space, and then back to start. Rather than a blue space putting me at three coins, I can't use the item shop. I can't afford boo with only three coins. Like, the better of two bad options. 
Okay, I'm gonna pay very close attention to the turn count this time. I'm very sorry, chat, but I actually do really need to use the the restroom, and it cannot wait. So, he just answered the second question correctly. Ooh. Really? Oh, that's seven. I, I just, I added them up incorrectly. It's now turn 10. I can't control if Peach wins, but if anything other than Peach answering correctly happens, it's a draw. Great, it's a draw. Awesome. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry for the wait there. Yes, I did wash my hands before anyone asks. Hopefully that's the only interruption. Because I really am excited about making the most of tonight and hopefully clearing the challenge. Just want to, yeah, it's turn seven. small happening space lead, at least for now. I'm only one space ahead of everybody else. It's blue. Okay. Well, whatever. Hidden block? I'm on the team of three in an unsafe minigame. Who could have seen this coming? And even if I win, or even if Peach wins, uh, she gets to purchase the star with her lamp because she will be able to afford the star. Are you kidding? So the deaths, I've had five attempts that have all died to minigame wins. One was slapped down. That was that was my fault. I wasn't paying attention or thinking correctly. Two coconut conks, one boulder ball, one crazy conks as the solo player. So four one versus three minigame deaths. 
and one battle minigame death. Yeah, I really would have preferred if Yoshi hadn't tried his hardest, but... It seemed like Peach had an honest chance to get him. She just missed. <sighs> Ooh, spicy. Seven, Nine. Nine puts me on the same space that Yoshi's on. I don't think it makes sense to get the Bowser suit. So I'll take the most overpowered item. But isn't a lamp. The reverse shroom is overpowered in light of the fact that it costs five coins and is purchasable from Baby Bowser's store at all times. The magic lamp is just a powerful item, but it's rarer and more difficult to obtain. So. Uh-oh. I was literally boxed in. I should have jumped. That, that is irritating. That honestly is pretty irritating. But I shouldn't have let Yoshi get the mushroom in the first place. So... I could have done better. Honestly, I'm not opposed. I either get a happening space or an item space. So. Thank you, Yoshi. I appreciate that consolation prize. Not who I wanted to get the happening space. Could also, I could also reverse so that it becomes happening space or item guaranteed. Well, no, it already is happening space or item guaranteed. If it's one, I get happening. If it's two, I get the item space north. And if it's three, I get the item space east. Or I can take the happening space south. Yeah. So now I just need to decide east and item. And then eventually head back to start. Or happening space. The stars on Funny Island. I can't. Uh, I can't let Mario get farther ahead in happening spaces. I have to keep fighting. If I if I abandon happening spaces right now, then that's pretty terrible. It, it basically forces me to win another way. Yeah, game guy is a. Uh, Game guy is death or bankruptcy, and if you have coins to lose, going bankrupt generally isn't good. Yeah, my under my rules, I'm not allowed to win against game guy. Winning a game guy mini game counts as winning a mini game, and that is in very large part because the game does say Luigi wins at the end of a successful game guy mini game. The game declares you. A winner. 
Yoshi just vacillating constantly between my worst nightmare and my best friend. Death or slower death is a very eloquent way to put it. I agree with Llama King's assessment there. I can't help which Chain Chomp is hungrier, but it's always likelier than 50% to be the bigger one. So, basically, if you're trying to lose, you pick Small Chomp every time. Man, really? Were we put on this earth just to suffer? Or is there some greater meaning to it all? Anyway, here's Boulder Ball. Getting all the bad luck out in the first hour and a half. I mean, Llama King is exactly right. Uh, it's still the first hour and a half. I should have, I should have negative expectations. I should expect to lose and to lose in ways that are very funny. But once that ninety-first minute rolls around, then we're cooking. Extremely bad, Yoshi. Ninety first minute, minute hidden block star. Yeah, let's go. I hope you lose. This is great. This challenge great because people in my chat can say, Jen, I hope you lose. And my response to that is, thanks. I do too. I hope you don't win a single minigame. Yeah, me too. I agree. That's why I'm doing this challenge. Oh, the worst spot. This is the worst spot for it to show up first. Boo. He gets a free item, though. Or not. Yeah. yeah. Also by the shopper. I don't like rolling nine. I don't like landing on blue spaces. But it is what it is. I might be able to afford something cool eventually, or just buy a reverse shroom. We'll see. The bank might give me an opportunity to lose five coins. Up to five coins, so. Can't be discounted. No, don't hurt him, don't hurt the boy. Don't hurt the boy. Man, I don't know what's worse, the minigame in which we repeatedly hit him with a hammer, or the duel game in which we jump on him repeatedly. Like, what's worse, getting crushed by Wario's body mass, or getting hit in the face with a blood instrument? Effigies of Baby Bowser are also shot at with guns in Baby Bowser Broadside and Pop Gun Pickoff. Really, it, there's no worse thing to be in this game than Baby Bowser or a representation of his form. You are just basically guaranteed to be pulverized by Bowser himself in a humorous manner or by the player characters in pursuit of ill-gotten gains. Everyone agrees fuck baby Bowser? Yep, yeah, pretty much. 
Stomped on is worse. Rubber mallets aren't as painful. Yeah, yeah. Average weight of a human jumping on you is going to be way less comfortable. Yeah. And these aren't even average humans. So, okay, we got blue. Blue. Item, if I go northwest and up. Unfortunately, with three coins, that's going to be a real Bowser on Funny Island. Likewise, that's going to be a real Bowser in front of Boo, and I will not be able to afford Boo's fee unless I obtain coins. I can get the blue space before the star, or I can land on the blue space right before going home. I think I'm going to... I'm going to go northwest because actually that opens the possibility of reversing onto Funny Island. Which is an interesting... It's nice to have options. And then even if I don't make it to Funny Island, I at least get the happening space. Swinging with sharks. Okay. What do we got? That's how it's done. I'm not consistently good at swinging with sharks, but not uncommonly I can obtain the desired result. Better than fucking hay batter batter. Ace is high. A minigame in which I can affect a draw. Let's make that happen. As long as they don't kill each other, I'm fine. Okay, good. Now I just need to not hurt Yoshi or be hurt by Yoshi. Hey, Yoshi. Oops. Well, no time for that. Sorry, Yoshi. Guess we just have to call it even. Funny chance time. Aw, oh, but no one has anything. Ah, uh, this is interesting. I think chance time would be funny. I obviously, I don't have a lot to lose, but I also really don't have a lot to gain. And then I'm also going to be stuck on Funny Island. And you know, it's really great to, it's really not great to be stuck on Funny Island, especially when you've already gotten the space that you want from it. And then it's only worse spaces than that. It could be Game Guy or Battle, and then I'm fucked. So I'm actually just going to choose to go forward. It's blue, right? Yeah, it's after the shot. Which means I can at least afford Boo's fee. Chance time away my coins and hope for Bowser. That's too big brain of Zap. That's too big brain of a play for me, okay? I need, I need you to ex like express much more mundane, shitty, boring, stupid strategies. I can't operate at that high of a level. I'm sorry. I'm sure you understand. Funny bankruptcy. What do we got? Uh, when he's on the way to the star, he's like 70% to get the star or something. I guess it's more like 50 or 60. Oh. 
you, you just really you just really hate to see it. I mean, I guess he only doubled his coins instead of quadrupling, octupling, or uh, undodecoupling. Twenty-one. Or times 32, or times 64, you know, or times 10. So, yeah, could be worse, but obviously pretty bad. Um, wait, it's turn, it's turn four. I can only take 11 coins away from Wario. I need to wait until turn six to use this thing, or I'm just not getting good enough value from it. I don't think I'm going to be able to prevent Wario from getting the star. The other thing is, reversing Wario does nothing. So. Terrible. Oh no. Well, this runs a small chance of making Wario unable to afford the star, so I guess that's okay, but let's see what happens here. Nothing. Okay. Reversing Wario still isn't a cost-effective strategy because he needs to roll so high that even bouncing on the gate will put him on the western or northern tracks. Well, it's a mini game that I can get the draw on, so... Reverse him and force him to hit the bank twice and steal from him? Well, if I could use more than one item per turn, there might be something to that. I guess the idea is the reverse shroom buys me time to then use my blue bell on turn six. Which is actually not an unreasonable strategy. The thing is, though, from his current position... Oh, no, he can't. Well, actually, yes, he can. I forgot. Also, I need to lose this. Because he can bounce on the gate and then go back east. Like, he, if he rolls a 7, he can just gate bounce and then go east and get the star. He also has to roll low, no matter what. I guess he is guaranteed to get the star. It's turn 5. If it was one turn later, we might be cooking, but as it stands right now, there is nothing to cook. Easy CPU moment? Yeah. Well, and now look who's wearing a Bowser suit and also on track to the star. I can't keep both of them from getting the star. Yeah, it is something to consider, I agree. Always gotta, uh, like, coolly assess all of your options, for sure. Um, yeah, no, there's, he's, Wario's just getting the star, like, he's just getting the star. I need the happening spaces, especially since Wario is pushing Coinstar out of reach. Well, actually, he's not pushing Coinstar out of reach anymore. It just already is out of reach. But maybe I, um, Waluigi's big blast myself into bankruptcy and then get a 40-coin Bowser on turn 7 or something. There's paths. Funny Island. All right. And that one will take forever to get to because the bridge is currently south, so... Not a good initial spawn location for the star, but the second one is not half bad. Oh, and it doesn't matter, though, because Yoshi has a lamp, so as soon as he can afford it, the star is his. Oh, boy. Team of three. It's my three least favorite minigames. Actually, no, I think I hate Coconut Conk more than Title Toss at this point. Title Toss was my least favorite. But on easy, title toss is like, okay. But no, it's Crazy Cogs, Boulder Ball, and uh, Coconut Conk are my least favorites. Keep it up, Yoshi. Keep it, Yoshi. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Yep. No Yoshi. Okay. No Yoshi. Ah! Okay, all right. That was very close. 
We live barely. But Yoshi can afford the star. So, keeping the run alive to use his lamp. Yep, that's his price. It's turn six. Boo Bells now give me 21 coins. Oh, I think you got him. Or did he? I guess he didn't. Wow, Wario flew. Ah, wait, there's something I can do. Sorry, Yoshi. That could be interesting. Yeah, actually, now I don't want to explode. Now I want to leave. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a chance to use this thing, though. Or to use my money, rather. Reverse Shroom makes it likelier that I can use the spinner and leave, but... Actually, I forget. If you reverse onto the spinner's south entry point, do you use the spinner like normal? And then it's basically, it just, it's like normal. I'm pretty sure the answer to that is yes, but I cannot remember if you can use the spinner moving backwards. Like, if it if it behaves the way that other stuff in this game does, I should be able to use the spinner going backwards. gets any money. I'm happy about that. Let's do it for science? Sure. I think it might make sense to do, but... Because there's also better spaces behind me than ahead of me. There's more blues ahead of me than behind me. Oh, man. Everybody's getting in on it. Okay. So I actually cannot escape the island at all if I uh, roll normally. But I'm 80% to reach the spinner if I take the reverse. And I really have a lot of money. I would rather use it. And I can't count on Wario to, use, to reverse me. Oh wait, actually no, it's already, it's currently my turn. What am I even saying? Okay, yes, I can use it. And it's blue if I go south, so that's obviously not what's happening. Blue. Lower the bridge and put myself on the path to the star. Okay, that's a very competitive option. Bowser would be good if I was bankrupt. Not good now. Blue right before the trap. Blue before that dead-end path. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go northwest. I just need not fast distance better. Now I'm tied for happening. It's a shame that those chance times aren't going to be there when I get there, because it would be very funny to take War Wario Star away from him, but... Uh-oh. There goes happening.
Hmm. Yoshi's heading slightly towards the star. He can choose to go northeast rather than northwest, but... It's a three-way tie for minigame star? Well, not, not after this. My horse got frightened. He didn't want to win and set expectations that he would need to win in, again in the future. <sighs> Sorry for rigging the horse race. For all of those who, who uh, lost your life savings, I, I humbly apologize. First of all, let's see if I get the 80%. Okay, I did. Wow, now that's something. This is, I've, I actually have not been in this situation before where I've had to make this calculation. So I'm actually pretty happy, you know? I'm, I'm glad that I get to experience this. This is fun, I'm glad. This is much better than losing to a mini game, right? This is entertaining, this is interesting. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I need the board star. Um. And how many more spaces do I need to leave the island? I'm going to need nine spaces of movement to leave the island after getting the star. Uh, unless someone lowers the bridge before my next... No, actually, no. I can't go backwards across the bridge. So, but the thing is, it, it's Game Guy this turn. It's not going to be Game Guy again. We've we've observed that it does not... It's not the same space two turns in a row. There's always at least one space different. I don't know the precise way that the system works, but it's not going to be Game Guy. The worst that it could be is battle. If it's battle, I'm bankrupt and I can safely lose. There's a decent chance that it'll be Bowser for the Bowser bonus, exactly like Llama K is suggesting. There's a decent chance of item. There's a decent chance of red and blue space, which are both fine. I think, right, and also there's chance time. Chance time would be fine. I could try and take someone's coins because I'll be bankrupt. I think I'm, I, <laughs> I'm setting myself for a clip saying this. I realize I'm setting myself up for a clip saying this. I think I can lose this Game Guy minigame, and it will be fine. But a board star is just way too valuable to pass up right now, since I'm not competitive for any of the bonus stars. Well, I'm competitive for Happening Star, but I need to get back to the Happening Spaces. And I suppose this puts off the Happening Spaces a little bit more than going directly back would be, but Happening Spaces aren't enough to win. They're just part of the victory. Funny one in 64? I agree. The bungee cord will hold our weight. Yep. I think so. Okay. What do we got? Yes! Okay. This is the best possible Game Guy minigame to get. Sweet surprise on 64. The odds of victory here are less than 1%, according to empirical testing. And it's over. A little bit anticlimactic, but you know... Fucking a lot better than Sweet Surprise, or uh, no, a lot better than uh, Lucky Seven, or or uh, Mystery Box, Magic Boxes, excuse me. Yes, we're now hoping and praying for Bowser. Please, Bowser. Funny, funny bankruptcy. Funny sixty-four times coins. Well, now I don't want it to be Bowser because he's also going to get the bonus then. Alright, well, okay. 
Yoshi can benefit, I guess. It's just then he's going to use his lamp. Oh my god. At this point, I'm going to have played every single unsafe 1 versus 3 minigame before the two-hour mark. Even roulette is worse than the rates claim. I thought the roulette was uh, was accurate. Didn't hear about anything on uh, identifying luck saying that game guy is roulette. The odds didn't line up with the listed bets. So I'm pretty sure it reflects the numbers of spaces that there are. Okay, now they both have to choose the same house, which is a 50-50, and Yoshi has to choose that house, so it's one and four to die. Or sorry, it's three and four to die. Excuse me. Finish. Seven. Seven minigame deaths. Man, this is brutal, dude. This is absolutely brutal. Some of the minigame deaths that I've had so far, I will admit, were more under my influence than not, and I definitely could have at least lost differently rather than lost the way that I did, and by lose I mean win. But some of these... Oh, God. Some of these are just... You don't have any control over what your uh, opponents do. Teammates. Well, I guess they're your opponents in the actuality. Hide and shriek. Oh, my God. You put it very eloquently, old, old school peach. That's, that, that's what it makes me want to do, is hide and shriek. Mediocre. We always want Funny Island and Trap. Southwest is... I mean, the, the, the upside is it's, it's crabbable by us. We can go there deliberately fairly easily. But... I don't want anyone getting board stars. I just want to get Happening Star and win a coin tie. That's it, please. Man, I don't know. I, I, I always hate it when I... Oh. I'm sorry. I'm not getting excited. Like, this, the game has been too mean to me recently. Like, I've died to minigames too many times recently. It's like, if I get excited about this now, uh, I'm just going to die to a minigame, like, instantly. And also, that's probably still what's going to happen, but I'm braced for it, so it'll be okay. And also, Llama King... You were very close. 16 minutes late. Yeah. We predicted a, a 91 minutes in getting the... Well, and you know, seven of those minutes were pre-actual pre gameplay. So I would say you were, you were very close. Ridiculous relay. Okay. A one versus three minigame. It's true. But one that is completely safe. Ugh. This is the first time that I've played Ridiculous Relay or Thwomp Pump, which are the two best minigames to get. Spotlight, Spotlight Swim is also really good. Spotlight Swim is, is pretty good. As the solo player, it's free. On um, As the team of three, Spotlight Swim, uh, you will lose the minigame as long as you're being, uh, as long as you're paying attention and moving your light away actively. I've parked my light in the corner and lost I mean, I bet it lost, I mean, one Spotlight Swim before. But I learned an important lesson, and I'll never let it happen again. So. A safe 1v3 minigame seems like a foreign concept. I mean, it's it's always these ones where all three of the team players are required to contribute something in order to win. Whether that's doing your leg of the relay, moving your Thwomp in Thwomp Pole, or getting your light on the prisoner in Spotlight Swim. 
It's only when the game forces all three of you to actually cooperate towards a common goal that it's safe to lose. When only one player needs to survive, that is the absolute worst. And also when one player can't accomplish the goal by themselves, like Boulder Ball and Coconut Conk. That's also very bad. It's also kind of a shame that there's just no... Oh man, he's got two now. Dang. Wait. I missed, I missed a happening space from Waluigi. I think because I was talking about something, but good. And I don't regret not buying anything this turn. It's possible that... Mario's gonna eliminate the coins. Actually, that's exactly what he did. That's fine. I have this. I have the uh, the cell phone. Now, if I get the Bowser bonus, which is very uh, achievable for my current board position, I can use that money to buy a lamp, a Boo Bell, etc. So having the phone is is still good, even though I'm bankrupt. I'm gonna laugh real hard if he actually gets to Boo and then can't pay. Okay, you didn't do that. Cheap, cheap chase. This game is a very straightforward, safe draw. So, it's now one of my favorite mini games to see. Before I knew that you could make this mini game a draw, I was kind of ambivalent about it. But. hidden block star. Hey, I have a hidden block star. Whoa, remember when that happened? I blew it off because I was like, no, nah, the game's just going to kill me immediately. It hasn't killed me yet. We'll see what happens. Phone and boo repellent. Okay. So that's game guy, unfortunately. Oh, Northwest is Bowser. Northwest is Bowser. And I can take the bridge if I want. All right. I can handle every timing except the very fastest. And that's what I got on a turn where I had a guaranteed Bowser bonus. you to hit me? Thank you. Okay. Now we're fine. Now we're safe. I guess we're not completely safe because if there's two computers left alive, one of them can fire a torpedo, and then the second computer bullets the first, and then dies to the first one's torpedo, and then I win. So... I still needed to be a little bit careful there, but... Okay, a drop. Just... Wow. I... Yeah, 
Yeah, man. Just, I really dislike when the spinner is on the fastest setting. That's all I'll say. Happening space is nice, though. I'm now, uh, in contention for the bonus, so. And I've still got a hidden block star. Nothing's taken away my hidden block star yet. We're surviving and thriving. I need to check if pause buffering is an option for the spinner. Yeah, no money on the board is actually pretty good. Oh, but now I have to watch violence. This isn't this isn't necessarily better or worse than any other mini game, but it's bad for my heart. Who's got it? Okay, happening lead. We'll see how long it lasts, but... Awful Tower. Okay, this is an interesting opportunity. Um, I have three coins, so I'm going to get two. This is what I like to call the Modulo strategy. I can always, using Awful Tower, and maybe using Cosmic Coaster, but definitely with Awful Tower, uh, make sure that I have, at the end of the minigame, a number of coins that is divisible by five. Thus opening up the option of me being able to do things like purchase a reverse room for five coins and then have zero coins at the start of my actual movement. So I went from having three coins, one of the most annoying, probably the most annoying amount of coins to have, and turned it into having five coins, which is an excellent amount of coins to have. No one made it. Wouldn't your AI partner collect coins in Coaster? They usually don't. They usually don't. Usually it's me that picks up the coins. One for Mario, one for Wari Waluigi, excuse me. So Yoshi is at least offset. That's good. But, I mean, yeah, um, a computer can collect coins from me in Coaster. I can try and make that result happen. An awful tower, I have full control of. I can get all five of the coins before a computer wins. That happens pretty much automatically, if I actually want all five coins. Uh-oh. This motherfucker does not need more items. Jeez. Just 
just checking the turn count. Bowser to the east. And then I can reverse Shroom and have an 80% chance to be on track towards the star after that. Which looks good to me. Can I not get fastest scroll though? Ha! Gotcha! Fucking take that. I'm in first place though, so it's not gonna be that many coins. Oh, 30? 30 is pretty good. I guess it's, it's mid game, it's turn six, so yeah. Hey, all right. There's a new coin star in town. We'll see how long it lasts. Wow. So currently, currently, I have happening star. Coin star and a hidden block star. And I'm 80% to be on the path towards the board star. Next turn. And I'm on the team of three. In Hyman Sneak! I told you! I told you when I got the hidden block star, the game's just waiting for the opportunity to do this to me. Fucking get your hopes up. Yeah, fucking right. Glorious death. Glorious, glorious death. I want to stay on Waluigi's Island forever! There's still a chance. Two hours. Eight minigame deaths. I have never felt more not like this than, than watching that happen. I had three stars and an 80% chance to be on very good position to get a fourth. That is the, the farthest ahead that I have ever been on turn seven on this board. I mean, hidden block star, so clearly, but any losses tonight or just deaths? Only deaths. Only deaths. I've died eight times. I want to finish an attempt. I would love to reach turn 15. We'll see if it's even existentially possible today. I don't know. And I don't feel like I'm playing particularly worse than usual. I'm not playing at my best. I'll concede that. But just... The sheer number of one versus three minigames that I've needed to play today is like grossly disproportionate, staggeringly disproportionate compared to my other two streams and most of the times that I've done this challenge in general. There's just no mercy. Free item at least. I'm getting the suit so that I can be bankrupt. And then I have the option to use the suit or land on Bowser or whatever. If people pass me, Mario is guaranteed to at least be on the same space as me, although unfortunately that's not enough. You have he has to be ahead. Ah. 
Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the golden shrimp. But, frankly, all of those items were pretty bad, so... Whatever. I guess the phone would have been fine, but I have a pretty hard time hitting the fifth balloon. I've done it before, but... Seven of the deaths have been... Coconut Conk, Hide and Seek, Hide and Sneak, uh, Crazy Cogs, and Boulder Ball. Yes, it's true. And then one of them was slapped down due to strategery error. The slap down, the slap down loss, I will own that one. That did not need to happen. I made that happen. I definitely could have avoided it. And I was just was not thinking ahead. But you can win Slapdown with zero inputs. All three of the computers can take themselves out before the real flower shows up. Wait, I have to die. I forgot about that. I just saw the stairs and I was like, wait, what? I was explaining how Slapdown works and I almost won a minigame. <sighs> I'm a little tilted, but not a lot. And I, I, I'm still having fun. It's just oof, oof. The game is giving me the old one too. Uh -huh. Money. Where is he headed? Damn. That's happening, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, what the? Sorry, one sec. I'm clicking the wrong thing. I'm like, what? Happening? So. I'm 80% to get 18 coins. Yeah, yeah, I'll use the suit. Fucking why not? It's it's more probable than the Bowser bonus. Hey, there we go. Uh, three. Bowser... Bank, blue, blue. This might sound strange, but like the thing that's tempting me the most right now is going northeast towards the item shop and boo. I don't normally take that route because there's usually nothing for me there. But in this particular circumstance with the star being on Funny Island, where it's going to be relatively safe, relatively safe, I don't want to stay south. South gets me a blue space and is going to expose me to imminent dynamite. I don't have any happening spaces, though. Well, I can't get a happening space this turn, no matter what I do. Bowser's not helpful because I have money. I think it's between northwest and northeast. Do I want to shoot for the star? I'm going to have 21 coins. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to go north. I'm going to try and go north. I'm going to try and get the board star. Emphasis on try. We'll see what happens. I can currently afford it. And I'm not going to get dynamited, so... It's the best you can ask for. But being two happening spaces behind Mario is a real problem. Oh, forgot. I am currently coin star. And quite plausibly could remain Coinstar if the computers explode themselves. No! Why? Why am I forced to endure this? I almost added some peachettes to that, to this post that I'm about to make, but this is very much not wow. This is the horror, the horror. Don't hurt my boy. What have they done? Look at how they've massacred my boy. Babies, they yearn for the hammers. It's true. The 
The game is just throwing the worst mini games at me. The ones that make me die and the ones that make me sad. Oh, dang, he could have gotten Bowser bonus. Glad that didn't happen. Okay, Happening Star is now looking really improbable. So I'm 50% to get the star this turn. And the, or I'm sorry, I'm yeah, I'm 50% to get the star this turn. 70% to at least make it on the bridge. Well, I don't have any items, right? So let's see what happens. No, Skeleton Key is not an item. Um, okay. I'm going to try and make nothing happen because I'm the only person that can be significantly harmed by chance time. If I get Yoshi's three coins, that's great. I think I'm just going to try and make the prize be stars if I can so that nothing happens. We'll see what the order is. The prize. Okay, we're going to make sure that it's stars so that I don't lose my 20 coins. Yes. Well, it's the thought that counts. Now I'm 90% for the star unless somebody takes my coins. That's pretty good. I just have to keep in mind, I am I am pretty actively scuttling Happening Star right now, so it's going to go to one of the computers. As are 10 coins from this minigame. Even with that performance, I could have one. But Mario wins. Ugh, the person with Happening Star. Okay. I'm also going to be resetting my progress at Coin Star. Like, I have a 21 coin Coin Star. That's not going to last the match, so. Oh, Jesus. All right. The odds of me losing any of my coins... I guess I could lose one coin, and that's fine. The odds of me losing more than one coin are pretty low, but... Okay. <sighs> Looked a little dicey there, but... Absolutely, I agree, Llama King, an acceptable result. Ninety percent. Bruh. Well, the only thing worse than one computer getting the happening star is two computers getting the happening star. Okay, all right. Handline and sinker. In the abstract, maybe this minigame is not safe, and if it wasn't super hard, it very plausibly might not be, but on easy, I have never died to this, and it does not look like that, that that's going to be changing this time. I still think that, like, 60 seconds is an obscene amount of time to do the fishing. That's just way too angler-favored. 
I guess if you're playing against people who are really good at swimming, it's 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 a little bit fairer, but. The hard reads? Yoshi just hard readed Mario into oblivion. God damn. Ouch. Yoshi Yoshi has to commit throwing out his grab. There's a, there's a lot of end lag on that grab, but he gets you. But Okay. Mario, don't do something that takes away five of my coins challenge. Pretty difficult for him to do from here. And in fact, he did not do it. 100% chance to get the star and very likely to get an item. Yeah! Oh, I forgot. My coin star is slightly higher. Ooh, okay. That's after two junctions, so the computers are not likely to go for it. <gasps> Yo -ho, ho! Not bad, not bad, not bad. Those are two good items. The golden mushroom's solid. Movement's always nice. I have, always have the option to not use it. And then a lamp, a lamp for me. And there's another happening space tie. Well, maybe I will have enough stars to beat both Mario and Waluigi, even if they both get two bonus stars each. If Bowser appears on the island and you pass the bank, a potential second star. It's true. It's true. That's what I'm hoping will happen, and I can use my golden mushroom to all but guarantee that I will pass the bank space and not land on it, so... I don't know who I want to win. Are there any particularly dangerous winners? No one's near the star. Including me. Yeah, I don't particularly care. Oh wait, I was gonna try and uh, play this for the uh, for the draw to see if the timer showed up for science. Oops. Well, if Wa if Waluigi, oh, never mind. I forgot. I need to actually. I need to be holding down A to accelerate. All right, I'm holding down A. If Yoshi eventually pushes me over the finish line, then Waluigi can creep forward and win. How long are we going to give it, guys? At least three minutes. Uh-oh, I'm pushing them. I'm pushing them. Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll call it at five. This looks stable. If one of them breaks free, that is fine. It's only 10 coins, and I'm not going to win. I'm still at one on my first lap. This looks stable. Man, what is this end of the line? The crowd's just getting increasingly tired. They're cheering. Oh, it was someone. Who's gonna win? Oh, just... <gasps> there it is. There it is. We figured out a new mini game to play for the draw. I didn't even think that this was possible. On what is this, the 18th stream? New draw unlocked?
Maybe it's going to give it to Waluigi because he's farther ahead, but Mario and Waluigi are at the same number of laps. It's a draw! Oh, that is beautiful. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that we did that. Now, three minutes is a pretty significant uh, expenditure of time, but like... Oh my god. Wow. It, it's paying, it's really paying off to like poke at things. Instead of just dying in cheap cheap chase, why not swim for a bit first? Oh, that makes it draw. Hey, in Waterworld, you can trap everybody. That's just funny, right? Nope, it also can result in a draw. We're getting rewarded for fucking around. Fucking around always leads to finding out, but sometimes the thing that you find out is honestly pretty good and not bad. Hmm. 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 I'm not guaranteed to leave the island, but I would like to. Alright, we're leaving. And then some. And we're bankrupt. I don't think I can make it to Bowser from here, but that would be really funny if I could. Alright, just for the sake of argument. Four, 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 four. Okay, it's, it's still game guy. I would be three spaces back from where I currently am, so there's not even a chance that this is preferable. This will get me to the spinner. I'm taking the spinner this turn, interestingly enough. Four, oh. Four is really close to good. I forget. Where's the star? Where did the star? Oh, the star is northeast. But there's no Bowser on the way. So I can safely land on this game guy space because I will be bankrupt, and that opens up the chance of getting Bowser, bank, item, and also battle, which is not as good. Oh, I have a key. I have a key on me. That makes East a little bit more interesting. But then also... Well... No. Waluigi and Mario have four happening spaces. I don't think a happening space actually really does a lot for me at this point. I'm going to try and go East. Well, never mind. Uh-oh. Well, while Luigi can get on the island, the star isn't there, so maybe that's fine, but... My, co my key can still be useful in the southwest. I can take the loop again. Good. I did not want Puddle Paddle. Puddle Paddle was likely to give me one or two coins. And there is a Bowser space ahead of me. I do not want to play this minigame to a draw. It is not safe to do this. Baby Bowser is just designated as an acceptable target for all forms of violence. He's the other. New coin star has been crowned. Uh oh. Oh! He can't steal my star and I have no coins. So it's actually fine. Although, if he steals Mario's coins. Oh yeah, now he's coin star. But he's not passing the star. The star is in that little path that he did not take because he went up to the trap. Okay. Happening. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Darn, three coins. The warp block could be annoying, but it's not scary right now, at least. Okay, we're gonna have to wait. But it's faster than Waterworld. Mario, I think, got 23, so he's gonna win. calculated it, and with those things, I should not win. Yep. 23. Nice, we saved a little bit of time. But it's specifically because I was paying attention to what the computers were doing. There was a small amount of risk to that, but not a large amount. And the nice thing is I could have stopped at any time. With 23 points, even if I'd gotten 10 and then 10, I could have been like, whoa, shit, all right, sorry, I'm sorry, never, I'm never mind, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then not continue. That would have been fine. Okay. That doesn't give him coin star, it just gives him a lot of coins. Oh, wow. Yep. Amazing. It's mid-game, so, and he's in last, so 40? Yeah. Wow, everybody is wealthy except me. Everybody has 40 coins except for me. And also, I'm on a team of three. And we're playing fucking Coconut Conk. Unreal, dude. Unreal. Can I finish an attempt? Can I get to turn 15? Is this even possible? No! <gasps> oh my god, if Yoshi had hit that, if Yoshi had hit the ground, I think I would have been fucking dead. But I just barely managed to body block it. Ah, oh, I do not need that stress! Okay, we're alive. Ugh. Naturally, he buys the lamp. Yeah, all of the computers having this much money is extremely dangerous. And I don't have Happening Star, and I'm not going to get it. And Mario just got a Hidden Block Star. So this attempt is now rapidly becoming unviable. He's four Happening Spaces ahead of me. I can land on the space that I started. Or I can land on the space that Yoshi is on. Wow. Um. I mean, bankruptcy is actually better for me at this point. I, I'm okay to explode. It's fine. It is what it is. Interesting. He could have bought a lamp. Easy CPU moment.
This minigame might also have a three minute timer, but unfortunately we cannot interfere with our opponents, so. He just wants to look at it. He's not very hungry. Finish! Does that give Yoshi Coinstar, though? I forget. He's, did he, he spent his money on something. He spent his money on a lamp. Yeah, so he's getting the star this turn. Well, he was already getting the star this turn, but... I do have a lamp. I should use that lamp, but I need 20 coins to do this. And even after that, I'm gonna need one more star. Because Mario's getting happening, or he probably is getting happening. He might also get mini game. Yeah, I need stars, and I'm probably also going to need to win a coin tie. Okay. Pretty accessible, which is not good. Computers have money. Oh, man. Bowser phone? So that's happening, which will detonate. Four, five, six. I can get the battle mini game and then be right in front of the star. That's a really interesting option. Alternatively, I can be on the blue space after taking the home path. One, two, three, four. I can land on this red space right after the start if I use my key, which sounds like a bad idea, and is. I can get a blue space. And then one, two, three, chance time. And item. But that puts me on Funny Island with Waluigi, which is not ideal. I can also theoretically make it to Boo and then land on a red space, but that doesn't seem super appealing. All I can do is steal coins, and that doesn't feel like it's going to move the scale very much. Um, I think the interesting options are Battle Minigame, that I will be playing with four coins, but how many coins would it need to be in order for you to get 20 coins from second place? 20 coins is 30% of 70. It's 30% of like 71 coins. I've hold on. I'm just going to quick calculate this because I really want to know the objective answer. It actually does matter. Uh, so let's see. 20. Okay, it's 67 coins. So there would need to be 67 coins in the pool. If it's a 30 coin minigame, then it's 90 coins in the pool. If it's 20 coins, it'll be 64. Oof. That's not quite enough. So it basically has to be a 30 or 50 coin battle minigame in order for me, be able, for me to be able to like get second place and then buy the board star after that even then 
I'm, well, I mean, I guess that saves me using my magic lamp, but then I would need to raise another 20 coins and then use my lamp. Whereas, also, I can chance time. I can chance time all 53 of Waluigi's coins, giving me coin star and a coin lead. Or take a star from Yoshi or Mario. If I take coins from Mario, that makes me tied for coin star, which is not ideal, but I'll at least be able to use my lamp. Coins from any of the computers means that I get to use my lamp next turn. It's just kind of a shame. I think I think that the battle minigame option is really interesting, but I really do not have any control over how much the minigame is going to be played for. And if it's played for 10 or 20 coins, it's not really going to be that helpful to me. Whereas chance time is a known quantity. Chance time... Chance time I can make happen. We're gonna risk it. This is a big risk. But a big reward if we can get it. Uh, chance time. Okay, I really want way in. Brain Trust, I need your help. It's asking me to choose prize first. I I assume that I can choose whatever I want. Do I choose all coins? All coins feels like the strongest move. But I could also choose stars and then aim to steal from Yoshi and Mario, who both have a board star to take. I guess the other thing is, if it's all coins and it takes away my nine coins, that's not a that big of a deal. If it's stars and I lose my star, I am ultra fucked. And cannot come back. All coins? I think that's the play. I think all coins is the play. <sighs> Can't risk star? Yeah. Recipient. Okay, this is the best possible order, I think. Nice! Okay, we're cooking. That was an excellent chance time. Waluigi would have been a little better, but... He's losing a little bit of money. I really don't want him to win the mini game. I want him to, I want him to die and go bankrupt. Bowser suit. I'm getting Bowser phoned next turn. Bowser's going to happen to me. I need to be prepared for that. Ace is high. Okay, so we can play this for the draw, and we are going to do that. I just want a chance to get a coin star lead over Waluigi. If Wal, actually, Waluigi has zero stars and is not competitive for any. Uh, board, uh, bonus stars other than coin star. So if it's a tie for coin star with Waluigi, that's like probably fine. Probably fine. I need to get hit. Someone hit me? Yes. Someone hit me? No. No. Not like this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me?
it's it's usually not that difficult to get hit in Ace's high. It's usually pretty straightforward. I was I was trying to get hit by torpedoes. Or the bullet pills. Um, something that I can say is that by making it to turn 11, that is a record for turn count reached in a single attempt so far, because every other attempt has died to a minigame before turn 10. Man, that's, that's kind of a difficult one to come back from psychologically. I was, I, I really, I know the targeting for the bullet bills is bad. It really is, like, that bad. Like, completely unreliable. Not even 1% reliable. Like, just totally and completely unworthy of any amount of trust. Even under the best circumstances. I probably wasn't going to make it through on that attempt. Just being objective about it. There was a lot stacked against me in that attempt. But it it would have been nice to try. Also, yes, I bought Bowser's suit and not reverse shroom on purpose. <sighs> It's the safe one. Man, dude. I, I haven't checked because I haven't done the count yet. I don't think that that previous attempt was my first ever death to Ace's High. I'm pretty sure that Ace's High has killed me at least once before. And I think it was the same sort of overall thing of I had two hearts and everybody else had one. So it's not like that was new, but really, really badly hurt. We'll see about this attempt, though. Something that's important to consider is that if a minigame is played, it isn't selectable again as a minigame until the game runs out of new options to put on the roulette at the end of the turn. So, in all likelihood, I'm not going to see Thwomp Pull again this match. I would only see it again if we played a lot of 1 vs. 3 minigames. Specifically, I think if we played seven more 1 vs. 3 minigames, then I would have a chance to play Thwomp Pull again. But, unless that happens. Yeah. 1 vs. 3 minigames have now become much less safe. Thwomp Pull is safe on both sides. It's a lot better for me to get an unsafe minigame and survive it than get a safe minigame and effectively use it up. Um, where did everybody go? It's just Waluigi for eight coins. I'll hold the suit. Nine is chance time. Blue. Battle. Red after boo, which I can't afford. Chance time. I'll take Peach's coins. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Wait, nine is happening. Oh my god. I I forgot that I could go south. 
I forgot that I could go south and get a happening space for free at no risk. Well, let's see if we can make something of this. Now I'm the only one without a happening space. <sighs> Great. This is the only arguably unsafe four-player minigame. Assuming that you know how to do aces high, which I guess I don't. <laughs> I can tell my mood's a little bit low. This has been a particularly punishing and challenging series of attempts. Nine deaths. Some on very, very promising attempts. A few in which I've even had a large lead. I don't want to uh, bring the mood down, though. I think it's still entirely possible that I will make it through. On this particular attempt, who knows? But, you know, every turn one, you start fresh. Slate's wiped completely clean. How you died or lost does not matter. Yeah, I don't want to get discouraged. It's just rough to come very, very close. You know? That's happening. Explosion? Funny explosion? I think that's explosion. Yep. Everybody's broke except me. Which is unfortunate because I have a Bowser suit. Hello, Sleepy Knight. Did you get here early? No, I've been going for two and a half hours or so. Nine attempts, nine minigame deaths. Including rare deaths to slap down and aces high. Truly unexpected. But that's what happened for two of those nine. The rest were 1v3s. As you might expect. Yep. Also, good to see you, Sleepy Knight. <sighs> oh, there goes my coin lead.
Yeah, Waluigi's having fun. He doesn't want me to leave. It is a very challenging map. I would have preferred a higher roll to get me closer to the Bowser suit zone. One of my attempts, I got a turn one hidden block star. It died to a minigame. Uh. Oh wait, I forgot I'm supposed to waste this one. Early hidden block stars are always better than late. I mean, I guess, I mean, I think the real problem there is early hidden block stars do not pre also preclude later hidden block stars. You can just keep having more hidden block stars because <laughs> every time you get one another one spawns so that was turn four now it's turn five Six. This is seven. This is eight. Someone other than Wario? And then turn 10, I can't even chime in, so we'll see what happens. If Wario doesn't get this one correct, it's a draw. Great. <sighs> Maximum amount of time wasted. wasn't even a computer that I could steal from, plausibly. No one's really near me. The Bowser suit was a really questionable choice. I just want to give it a chance, but not everything deserves a chance. Three happening spaces behind Waluigi. Yeah, Peach isn't. Okay, now I'm only two. But happening spaces are not enough to win. I don't know where I am. Picking panic. Okay.
All right. <sighs> Good draw. All right. This attempt doesn't have anything strong going for it yet, but maybe that'll change. Where did I end up? Am I in Northeast? Am I near Boo? I can't afford Boo's fee, so I hope not. Oh, I'm not even headed towards Boo. Um, is there any argument for reversing? I'm just kind of in like a terrible part of the map. No, I just need to move. <sighs> Not gonna lie, friends, this is a this is a pretty bad attempt <laughs> so far. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Are you kidding? There's enough time left. You'd have to hit it very fast. <laughs> One little jump on his head as I leave. A little bit too slow in the draw there, Wario. Maybe Waluigi will get close enough to justify using the suit for his 11 coins, but... Uh, I'm still trapped in this abysmal... section of the board. Uh, man! The game is just really really making it hurt. I'm not giving up, though. I'm throwing myself at this brick wall until it crumbles to dust. Awful tower, and I'm at 10. I will get the 5, then. There's some coins. But 10 is not getting awarded. I think it's turn 8, but I don't remember how many. One for Peach, one for Waluigi. Okay. Oops. Hold on. 
Sorry. I was just trying to check the turn. That's all that was. Okay. The, the rough, the roughest part about this, I think, is that I'm two happening spaces behind Waluigi, who also has mini game star and coin star. Am I going to roll a one for the third turn in a row? That is the question. All right, that was the best thing I could have rolled. Uh. What? Easy CPU moment? Question mark? Bro, what? She was literally already under the effects of a poison mushroom. Okay. It's a bold strategy. Handline and sinker is not cause for concern, thankfully. Unless it is. Wario's a touch away from Coinstar. Although, now he either really has it or really doesn't. Okay. Yeah, I was honestly getting a little bit nervous that I was going to have my first hand line and sinker death. On easy. Keys. I'm okay with his inventory full of those. Wow. It's so cool to roll a dice and then actually get to move spaces afterwards. Mario Party moment. where this is going. I finally earn enough money to purchase the star. I'm gonna need to have a plan on getting there. Great. Eight coins for second. Which is a partial refund that puts me at 19, but I'll take it. I seriously just lost locked out. Finish! Which means I'm at 11 coins. Um, is Peach near me? That's the only thing I can think of. Is Peach near me? No, she's not.
Peach just was not giving me enough water flow. I might have been able to do more, but she stopped pumping at really inconvenient times. Okay, are these guys near me? Are Wario and Waluigi near me? Bowser's suit? No, Wario's not near me. Man, if I'd gotten the draw, he would have made 40 coins instead of losing his 10 going back to zero. Oops. Uh, calculated, I guess? We'll call that calculated. Where do I need to roll to reach him? I cannot reach him. He is 11 spaces away. Where's the star? Funny island. Well, I need to go northwest in order to have a chance anyway, so. I don't know why I, I, I don't know why I say things. I don't know why I employ my capacity for human speech. Just, this is like one of the most underwhelming attempts that I've had all night, and it gives me fast scroll. And I'm on the team of three. In an unsafe minigame. Well, if I survive this hide and sneak, it will set a new record for actual turn that I've made it to. Because my most successful attempt thus far has died on the end of turn 10 minigame. So, better than even odds for Wario to save my ass here for all the good that it'll do, because I'm not in a winning position on the board as things stand right now. Maybe I can get there. The path is not exactly promising. Now it's a coin flip. Yeah, this is not an attempt that I feel bad about giving up. What's up, Paluto? Nice to see you. Um, it's been... Honestly, it's been a really, really rough night. Like... There have been some bright spots and some nice moments, but... The game has just relentlessly dunked on me over and over and over again every few minutes. Not enough to make me give up, because there's no amount of the game dunking on me that could make me give up, but... This is like... Eight one versus 3 minigame losses so far this stream. Plus a, a death to Slapdown and a death to Aces High. Both of which were preventable. That's right. Don't forget what I said earlier this stream. I'm using up all of my bad luck so that I can then use just the good luck. It's all part of the plan. Doubters, you will soon be in shambles. Mark my words. Okay. 
This is good. We have a chance for two, turn two Bowser. Turn two Bowser bonus. Could explode. Okay, we got a safe one. Crazy Cogs was kind of leering at me there. Something nice that happened earlier this stream, though, was uh, we figured out that we can get a draw on Waterworld. And I got it. So, new tech. item. Okay, 30% chance for Bowser, approximately. Maybe slightly higher, but at least 30% chance of Bowser this turn. I don't think that's it, but... Okay, blue. Blue. Item. Funny Island. Bowser! Wait, Bowser! Bowser if I make it past the trap, which is a 50-50. Also get blue or the blue space right in front of the warp pipe. Okay, I think we're going to aim for trap Bowser. So I have to get the spinner and make it past the trap. If I don't make it past the trap, it's a blue space. So disappointing, but not catastrophic. Up, believers, come on. Always up. Yes! Turn two Bowser bonus. Okay. Now we're cooking. Things can certainly go wrong. Absolutely, but as far as starts go, And I have the reverse room. Llama King is right. This is potentially more than one usage of Boo. Possibly up to three. If I'm very lucky and roll low. Next turn. Thankfully, your score cannot go negative in this game. Could I use my reverse room to get the star? Uh, yeah, possible. Yeah. I'm so due. I'm glad you think so, DC. Getting the draw might have been possible if I'd gotten Toad at the last second instead of Goomba, but I'm just glad I didn't win the minigame.
That was Peach and Waluigi that won the minigame, right? And Mario was my partner? I'm now completely... I, 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 for some reason, my brain has already scrubbed who my teammate was from the equation. Ooh, almost lost Coinstar. Okay, let's not get a two, though. Not a two. Okay. Oh, hold on. I just want to check where that's going to put me. Two, one, two. Oh, I, I'm in the pipe. I'm in the pipe. I missed my chance to reverse into the star because I rolled too high. Oh, that's a shame. Peach was the partner. Okay. And that's fixed. Uh, okay. Um, who's headed for the star? Well, they're both about to explode. Can you reverse into the pipe? You assume no? That assumption is correct. You cannot take the pipes backwards. This green pipe is one way out only. You can, you can even need to see the sign there. Um, who do I steal from? Waluigi to protect Coinstar? Yeah, sure. To make it easier to protect Coinstar. Unfortunately, it's turn three, which means I'm only getting 11 coins for a net profit of six. But, as Boo points out, that's not bad. Six more coins than I had at the beginning of the turn. Explode? Not quite. Ugh. Okay, I'm getting hit first. <laughs> Fuck this, do some damage, and then get hit stuff. Okay. If I die, I die. But I'll only die in the context of the minigame. The run will be completely fine. Okay, everybody's at one heart, so now all I need to do is survive, and hope that the computers don't kill each other. Whew, that was too close. Well, I guess if Mario had died and had not taken Peach out, that would have been fine. I guess I am running a little bit of a risk here, but I feel like attacking the computers is even riskier, so this is a calculated risk. Okay, all right. Cool. <sighs> so the ace is high that I lost earlier this stream definitely was a fluke. Normally that minigame is fine. Plenty of times I even, there's even a winner that's a computer, which is they get 10 coins, but that's fine. Just partially redeemed from my earlier deaths of this stream. So. That's nice, that's nice. A little bit of pride restored. Shame about no explosion. That's happening though. Okay. I mean, I can live with that. Are we gonna explode? Now's a great time. Yes! Goodbye! I think I'm about to land on item, yeah? No, I'm about to land on happening. I'm about to land on happening. I already have a reverse shroom. It's a no-brainer to buy the Boo Bell, right? I'll wait till turn six to use it. Is there an art? Is there an argument for Bowser's suit instead? No, it's a stupid argument. I'm gonna try and go up 50 and steal a star or something.
Item bag? No, nah, not for two items. I am only ever going to item bag. For one thing, if it's my only way of making a comeback, and then also if my inventory is completely empty, but 30 coins for one or two items is just absurd. I could not, I can't see it as ever being worth it, really. Unless it's, again, your only way to win. Which, maybe there is a case in which item bag is your only way to win, but that's a very strange case. I'm glad I'm competitive for Happening Star again. That's nice. Dynamite Island isn't imminently going to blow up. It's got four on its count. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, horse. This is what happens if you only press A and not B. Because you kind of just do the little... Eater, 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 eater. Okay. Coinstar is mine at 39. I would like to get some coins back. But that's going to have to wait until next turn because it's currently turn 5. Also, nobody has enough money to steal from. I want to wait until somebody has 21 points so I can get the full steal on turn 6. Okay. Okay. That Bowser phone could cause problems, but... I can react to it. Four-way tie for Happening Star. Honestly, not terrible. I'm just gonna go. Never mind, I've got Happening Lead. I would like a chance to get off of Dynamite Island, so Peach, if you could hold off on Happening Space this turn, which she is, looks like. Thank you. Could be Bowser. Let's bank. Huh? Okay. Well, the good news is, if she wins this mini game and can't afford the star, uh, no, she can't anymore. Because I'm taking that money. I guess I would prefer the Peach or uh, who's the other one with money? Waluigi just doesn't have money, right? Well, we'll see what we'll see what the situation is. I would like for there to be someone with a bunch of coins for me to take. Uh, oops. Okay, well that was okay. Uh, all right, all right. Playtime's over. Playtime's over. Oh no! Ah uh, shit! Bip 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 bip. How did I not set something off? Wow, that's amazing. Oh, shit. Yes, okay, good. All right, cool. <sighs> All right. I've definitely gotten some zeros before, and those are always a lot less stressful than the ones where I score a little bit, but... Puzzle party's over. It's my puzzle party, and I'll puzzle cry if I want to. Man, I'll puzzle cry if I want to is, like, really the theme of tonight, of tonight's stream. I haven't felt like crying, but I have felt like puzzle crying. I don't know what that means. All right, Mario, do you have enough money for me to steal yet? What's this you do? Yum, 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 yum. Delicious coins for me. Delicious coins for Jen. Uh-oh. Oh, Warp Block is okay. I would cry too if it happened to me. Yeah, I cry every time. All right. Um, hmm. I think I preferred being where I was on the board to that, but uh, this hasn't like 
caused a catastrophic problem or anything. Peach swapping... Oh, Mario swapping with Peach would have been bad. That is true. That is true. Instead of Mario getting a star and uh, no longer having enough coins for me to steal from him efficiently, uh, I have been mildly inconvenienced. I'll take it. It's just one thing that I wanted to check, which is Peach is 80% to pass the star. And that's good enough for me, I think. I am asking for trouble by antagonizing Mario like this, but... I'm definitely in the lead also, if that matters. Because, at least for the purposes of using Boo, the computers pre-calculate the bonus stars, and I have Happening and Coin Star right now. Alright. Extend Coin Star just a bit. Peach, would you be so kind as to roll three or higher? Please. Thank you. I very much appreciate your cooperation in this endeavor. Checks in the mail. What do we got? Awful Tower? You're saying I can earn five coins without winning a minigame? Sign me up. I have a message that I need to read in just a sec. Got all the coins, yeah? At least 10 for Peach. Two for Mario and one for Waluigi. They are perfectly offset. Great. A coin minigame and Cosmic Coaster can adjust that. But no ties for minigame stars sound great to me. And Mario calling it on Peach? Wow. Yeah, not what I expected. I'm definitely winning. Okay. Okay. I guess the phone could be trouble later, but it's not trouble now, so... I'll take it. Uh, I don't like him doing that, because now he's near Boo. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna bounce for fun. Also, wait, what turn is it? It's turn seven? Okay. Uh oh. Okay, Mario broke red, thank goodness.
He didn't do that to get battled, did he? Okay, then it's fine. Uh-oh, that's Bowser, but I hope he gets trapped. Come on. Oh, okay. Lose coins? Oh, um, hmm. That's bad. That's very bad. That's very bad. Okay. Uh, huh. I, I don't like that I have to do this, but I have to do it. Because he's going to steal from me. And then I will be bankrupt. Or actually, I'll be at one coin, which is arguably worse. No one can chance time away the coin star. Currently, yes. Um, where is the star? Is it east? It's east. So my options are to go north for an item or east to be on the path towards the star with enough money to buy it. And alternatively, I could stay on Dynamite Island to try and farm happening spaces. I guess... I'm 60% to get the star. Oh, I'm, oh, I'll have just enough. I need 25 because I need to keep in mind that I need to pay off the bank. Stay on for star. Yeah. Actually, here's something I need to pay attention to. Where is Peach? Peach is at start. She's either going to get blue or green. And I really, really need to avoid one versus threes. So, I, I hear the argument for Star, but I want to make it less likely that we're going to get a 1 versus 3. And this is a big guarantee that we're not going to get one, but... Come on, Boo Bell, something good? Lamp? Lamp, uh, is... What? Um... Ah... Uh... Uh. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to need to, uh... End the stream a little bit early. So, I'm going to save after this turn and then continue, but I'm not going to be using this as an opportunity to save scum. So, I'm just going to play through this turn, the end through the end of this turn, assuming that I don't die to the minigame. Uh, and then I will continue this attempt on uh, next stream. That'll be the plan. Two v two, thank goodness. And it's possible to play for the tie, which I will try to do. Ideal. Okay. So that's where things stand. One happening space lead over the rest of the group. And a coin star, that's 16 coins ahead of Peach's current total. I'm headed away from the star with a cell phone on turn 9. 
No one else is really headed for the star, but they might get there soon. I'm at least going to have the option to choose between northwest and northeast when I get to the junction. So, this attempt could make it, and if it does, that'll be interesting. I'll have to stitch them together uh, for the final video, but at least for now. Wow, I'm just looking again at the death and losses counter. So I've done, I've done, this is my 11th attempt of the day, and all 10 of the other attempts were minigame deaths. Mostly one versus threes. Like... Oh, rougher than usual for sure. <sighs> Third stream down. Not giving up. We're going to make it. Not tonight, but hopefully soon. Thanks for sticking with me through it all. And in the meantime, stay losing. <laughs>